2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Greetings, everyone. Glad to have you with us on this Wednesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. We've got the Boston Celtics and the Chicago Bulls. And so off the tip, it's Boston. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. They've got Ainge. Kevin McHale out there with Bird. And it's Parrish. And it's Johnson in at the point guard. Now here's McHale. Over Rodman. And that one's good. McHale. McHale's got the first points up on the board tonight here for the Celtics. Harper the pass to Rodman. Jordan with it. He's guarded by McHale. And Jordan gets it to go. And not much else you can do. I mean, defensively, you try to make it hard on Jordan without fouling, but he's just too dialed in. Johnson against Harper. Passes it to Bird. Just five to shoot. Nice ball movement by Boston. McHale. It's all in by the Bulls. Jordan with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. The drive by Jordan. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, catching the defender there off balance. Jordan with the great strength to convert through contact. Let's see what he can do there at the line. The Bulls shooting their first free throw tonight. One shot. Free throw good, Jordan. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. And the shot is good from Johnson. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, Greg, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. And that one drops for him. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Here's Johnson after the Bulls pick up two. Bulls up on the wing. No good from Bird. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Shoots from 12. That's blocked by Bird. And he gets it back. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Three-pointer. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Danny Ainge on the wing, guarded by Jordan. And Johnson now top of the key. Back to Ainge. Right wing. Parrish against Longwood. Three-pointer, Bird. Tough shot by Bird, but he gets it to go. Could there be any doubt? I mean, Bird's such a dead-eye shooter. Sometimes this guy practices threes with his eyes closed. Outside, Rodman. Pass to Jordan. Poked away. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Jordan's got 10 points. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Johnson, the pass to McHale. The shot, no good. The Bulls leading by five. It's Pippen on the wing. Bird covering. Bird against Pippen. Pass to Longwood. 
The Bulls need to get a shot off here. And McHale pulls it down. Got his hand out enough on that one to bother the three-point attempt. Great hustle on that one. You know, we talk about this time and time again. Trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. The Celtics shooting their first free throw of the night. Chicago leading. Harper kicks to Pippen. Now Longley. There's the pass to Harper. Inside. Ooh, the double clutch. Rebound Boston. It seemed like he changed his mind halfway through the layup. Tried to go to something else and, and flat out choked it. Johnson surveying the floor. Lock at six. Three on three. Here's Jordan. Unable to get that one. Good D by Johnson. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by two. Pulls up on the elbow. Good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. Johnson's got his second bucket of the night. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Jordan the pass to Harper. Back to Jordan. Long way against Parrish. Harper up top. Five on the clock. It's Pippen on the wing. Offline with his three. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Over to the wing. And here is Parrish. Johnson with it. Johnson against Jordan. Over Johnson. And again, Chicago, no good. They could retake the lead after trailing for a while. Nice work to hang around and just give yourself a chance. Put yourself in position. Now here's McKeel. Johnson outside. Austin needs to get off a shot. And here's Bird for three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Just such great consistency on that jump shot. Even though he's not always squared up, Bird terrific in the catch and shoot game. McHale against Rodman. Here's Longley. And Jordan has it in the corner. Kicks to Harper. To end the run. Parrish grabs the board. Well, you're trying to answer the three, but you force up a shot that he would have been better off passing up. Ainge against Jordan. Ainge the pass to McHale, and here is Johnson. He feeds it to Bird, shoots over Pippen, and he buries that one, I'm drilling I'm the rim on the way down. Bird's got eight points. Yeah. Bird never ceases to amaze. His ability to score with a hand in his face, sometimes against multiple defenders, really a testament to his focus and his talent. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now.
so Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Williams, he's checked in for Longley. Kukoc comes in for Pippen. Baker, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. And Kerr subbed in for Harper. And a new group in for the Celtics. Walton's checked in for Parrish. Redmond comes in for McHale. Brooks checked in for Ainge. And Vincent subbed in for Johnson. Now here's Kukoc. Passes it to Baker. They could use a bucket. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Boston leading by five. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Now, here's Kerr. Pass to Baker. Back to Kerr. Williams passes to Kukoc. Rodman trying to break free, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the call. Foul on Boston. The Bulls have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. On offense, here are the Celtics. They're on a 13-3 run. Here's Vincent, defended by Kerr. Now Brooks. He's still scoreless so far in this one. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. The rim-rattling two-handed jam. And that's a go-to move for Kukos. When he can get a step, has the ball handling skills and length to do damage. Here's Vincent. Pass to Bird. There's the triple. Rebound by the Bulls. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Now, here's Kirk. He's covered closely. Who coach against Burke? Outside, Kuko. They get it again. Rodman. And he hits it to tie the game up. Just doing the job on the backboard. Here's Vincent, defended by Kirk. Vincent, the pass to Bird. Over Kukoc. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Celtics lead by two. Oh, big time putback there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. From 18 feet away, Chicago now working with a new shot clock. And it's Williams with the jam. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. He shot two free throws in the game, made one, and missed one. Seasting, he's checked in for Vincent. What's up? And that drops, so they now lead by one. Here is Z-Sting. He kicks to Brooks.
good on the shot. We've got 148 left in the first. Kerr dishes to Rodman. Knocked loose. The pass to Kerr. Shot clock at six. Here's Kukoc. The rebound by Walton. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Following the miss by Larry Bird. Baker, no good. The Celtics with the lead. Seasting passes to Bird. Hits the difficult fadeaway jumper. Bird's got 10 points in the game. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Passes to Rodman. Right side, Kukoc. Rodman kicks to Kerr. There's Baker. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Fires it up. And the jumper falls for him. And the Celtics with possession here. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Wedman. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Kerr dishes to Kukoc. I'm deep and no good on the last second attempt this time. We come back right after this. And we're back. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stance-wise? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. Here's Kukoc. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the floor for Boston. They've got Seasting. Bird out there with Walton. And it's Marshawn Brooks. And it's Wedman in at the small fold. Kept alive. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Bulls shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Shooting two. No good on that one. Second free throw, no good. Here's the Celtics with the ball. Kukoc with the defensive effort. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. They get a hand on it. Pass to Kerr. Good ball movement here by the Bull. Four on the clock. Here's Baker. Another shot. 
Vaught shot off, and it's Boston the other way. Chicago making a switch here. Pippins checked in. Celtics also with a sub. McHale's checked in for Larry Bird. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. The pass to Seasting. Pulls from the top of the key. That one a little long. Oh, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Passes it to Wedman. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Here is Seasting. Down to five on the shot clock. Kicks to Walton. Over Williams. Offensive rebound. McHale. Kukoc with the defensive effort. And his defense so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Now here's Pippen following the shot by Kevin McHale. There's Baker. Hooks covering. Baker, no good. Frozen. Guy's just ice cold, unable to contribute <laughs> offensively. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? For Boston, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. So for the Bulls, Longley's checked in for Williams. Jordan comes in for Ron Baker. And it's Harper in for Kerr. And then for Boston. Robert Parrish is checked in for Walton. And it's Johnson in for Wedman. Chicago trailing here. Jordan the pass to Pippen. Outside, Kukoc. Pass to Jordan. Over Johnson. Rebound, Boston. McHale's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Pass to Seasting. Five to shoot. Feeds it to McHale, and stolen by Jordan. And the pass to Kukos. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Kukoc has got it all tied up now for the Bulls. Pippen against Johnson. Pass to Brooks, and stolen by Jordan. Pippen against Brooks. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Robert Parrish picks one up there. Pippen, simply put, one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Well, Celtics making a switch here. Ainge is checked in. And both free throws good for Pippen. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Boston Celtics. Pass to Parrish. And the next one puts him in the bonus.
And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. McHale inside. Guarded by Kukoc. Shots good by McHale. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Jordan against Ainge. Floats one up. Jordan can't get it to go. Harper against Ainge. Pass to McHale. Ainge up top. No points in the game yet for him. Brooks with the bucket. Well, that's a case where your teammates are showing trust in you, and he comes through with flying colors. And here is Harper. Left side, Jordan. Shoots over Ainge. Count it, and the Celtic lead has been cut to just one on the basket from Michael Jordan. And as much as he's done to increase the range on his jump shot, this is where Jordan's bread is buttered, that mid-range game. Now, here is Ainge. The pass to Brooks. Six on the shot clock. Johnson dishes to McHale. Here's Parrish. The Chief slams it through. And the Chief making his presence felt on that offensive backboard. Doesn't look like he's outworking you until you see the ball drop through the net. Jordan kicks to Kukoc. Jordan against Ainge. Fader on the way. Jordan's shot is off. Celtics leading by three. Johnson with it. McHale outside. Brooks outside. Who coach against Johnson? Three-pointer on the way. Kept alive by Boston. Oh, that's blocked. Now Harper still looking for his first bucket in this one. Passes it to Pippen. Now Longley. It's Jordan on the win. Longley passes to Harper. Pulls it up. Parrish grabs the board. Parrish has got six rebounds now in the game. Brooks outside. Ainge against Jordan. Cloak loose. Ainge the pass to Parrish. From downtown. A new 14 for Boston. Jordan against Ainge. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Way to attack there and then create the contact. For Chicago, they have gone 5 of 8 from the charity stripe here tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Vincent's checked in for Boston. So one for two that time with the strike. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. A floater. Here's Parrish. The rebound by Pippen. Chicago trailing here. And Jordan has it in the corner. Outside Pippen. He nails it, and we're tied up. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Ames, the pass to Johnson. Ames against Jordan. 
McHale inside. A rebound by Kukoc. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Rodman, he's checked in for Kukoc. Celtics also with a sub. Bird's checked in. Parrish has gone three of six from the floor. Jordan inside. Ainge covering. And it's in there. Yeah, and you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. So it's the Celtics now. Ainge up top, guarded by Pippen. Here's Parrish. It's all in by the Bulls. Pass to Jordan. Up and in on the layup. Jordan's got seven now in this quarter. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Now, here is Ain. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Jordan against Bird. It's off target. He's 4 of 9 from the field. To the middle. Deflects the pass. Back to Harper. Pass to Rodman. And he uses the glass on the way. And it's a four-point Chicago lead. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And there's the pass to McHale. Over Rodman. Here's Ainge. Passes it to Vincent. Parrish kicks to Bird. Parrish dishes to Bird. Azelik's working the ball around now. Second chance shot. Rodman with the rebound. Rodman's got six rebounds here tonight. Offside Pippen. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Pippen's got the lead up to six now for the Bulls. They're struggling to keep up. And we'll see if they can turn things around, Kevin. On this trip, they can't continue to come up empty. Now here's McKeel. Here's Vincent. Pass to Ainge. Over Pippen and the rejection by Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen. Known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. Some changes for Chicago. Williams, he's checked in for long. On Baker comes in for Pippen. And Kerr subbed in for Harper. Then for the Celtics... Walton comes in for McHale, and Wedman subbed in for Danny Ainge. Now here's Jordan. They lead by six, their biggest margin. There's a minute 34 left in the first half of the game. Here's Baker. There's three pointers off the mark. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing, the ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. Now, here's Parrish. Seven points in the game. You have to love the tenacity, but also the awareness to make sure he came away with that ball. Baker. 
Sweet little floater. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. To the paint, here's Bird. No good, unable to end this run. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. And, and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that back room. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, and every generation or so, a player comes along who can be considered a true superstar. Folks, that's Larry Bird. This is his first free throw of the game. Throw good, Bird. Seasting, he's checked in for Parrish. Bird hits them both. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Now here's Jordan. Defense is right there. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Jordan's got 11 points in the quarter. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. And that concludes the first half. It's the Bulls ending the second quarter with an energy burst, a 19-6 run, and will return shortly. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The NBA playoffs are happening, and we're happy to have you here for the halftime show. And guys, for the Bulls, this is do or die for them tonight. And they're playing their hearts out. They built a nice lead for themselves, and if they can put together another half like the one they just played, this series may not be ending here in Game 6. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Bulls? What stood out to me more than anything else was how hard they got after it on the offensive glass. They were keeping possessions alive and converting those rebounds into points. Take away those extra points, they're not in this position, Ernie. And over to Kenny. What did you think about Boston? Well, they shot under 40% in the first half. There's your deficit. They missed some open looks, wide open. But overall, I thought the offense was stacked. Look for their coach to draw up some specific plays to try to jumpstart them in the second half. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. We've got Longley. Harper's out there with Michael Jordan. Then it's Rodman. And it's Pippen in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Here's Longley. Outside Pippen. Pass to Jordan. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Ainge grabs the board. 
Celtics trail by 10. Bird outside. Back to Ainge. McHale passes to Ainge. The pass to Bird. There's the three. The rebound by Harper. Oh, that was a great effort defensively. Get a hand up in the face of the shooter. It's so important. A floater, and the officials call a traveling violation. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Ainge against Jordan. And here is Ainge. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Six to shoot. Bird against Pippen. For the three. Good work defensively by Pippen. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Longley can't get it to go. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. And I enjoy watching Harper as he, he fends off the contact. Awesome at just finding those little cracks in the defense and exploiting them. Dennis Johnson on the wing. He's guarded by Harper. Pass to Bird. Picks it out to Johnson. And stolen by Jordan. All alone. And slam dunk by Jordan. A good job there. Jordan getting him in transition. And he does so much. You almost forget how dominant he can be defensively. Harper against Johnson. Here's Bird. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got his third assist on the night. Their first basket in four tries. Let's see if that basket gets them going. It can be contagious now. Now here's Jordan. 23 points in the game. And the rejection by Parrish. Ainge against Rodman. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And A's just one of those guys that likes to annoy an, an energetic scorer who can shoot a high percentage from the field. The Celtics have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Chicago. Both free throws good for Mange. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Outside Harper. He dishes it to Pippen. To the inside. Shot clock at six. And the Celtics making a change here. Brooks checked in. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Got a piece of it. Now the dish to Johnson. Back to Brooks. Just five to shoot. The tray. No good. And in Chicago the other way. They've led by as many as 14 points. Pippen with it. And it's McHale picking him up. 
Pippen, no luck. Ainge with the ball. Kukoc with the steal. Outside Pippen. And that one is good. Pippen's got eight. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Harper, no good. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Boston. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Pass to Brooks. Good, and it's Johnson with the assist that time. Johnson's got four assists in the game. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing time all time he out. can. But right now, somebody's got to step Pardon. in and support this guy. Chicago calls timeout. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. Chicago making a switch here. Kerr's checked in. It's Pippen on the wing. Brooks covering from six feet. And deep, Pippen drops it in. Pippen's got four points in the quarter. And his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now here's Brooks. Ten points for him. The baseline J. Here's McHale. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Two coach kicks to Kerr. Pass to Pippen. Pocket six. Outside Harper. Over Johnson. Johnson with the block. Here's Brooks. Here's McHale. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single digit lead. McHale's got eight points. Well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass. All about effort right now. Outside Kukos. The pass to Pippen. Shoots a fader. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc, the versatility on offense and the terrific court vision. Here's Ainge. And it's Harper with the rebound. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Kerr, the pass to Long. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Robert Parrish picks one up there. No question, he got bumped on that shot. For Chicago, they have taken 10 shots from the free throw line up to this point and made six of them. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes for Chicago. Williams, he's checked in for Pippen. And it's Baker in for Ron Harper. And a new group in for the Celtics. Walton's checked in for Parrish. Wedman comes in for Marshawn Brooks. Vincent's checked in for Danny Ainge. And it's Easting in for Johnson. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 
Celtics trail by 12. Seasting passes to Wedman. Here is Seasting. Passes it to McHale. And McHale gets double teamed. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And Boston has possession. Here's Walton. It's all in by the Bulls. Longley's got six rebounds here tonight. Up top, Kukoc. Here's Baker. Pass to Williams. Bulls moving the ball around. Five on the clock. Kerr, the pass to Baker. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Baker's got the lead up to 14 now for the Bulls. Pass to Wedman. Here's Vincent. McHale outside. Longley grabs the miss. Longley's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Now here's Kerr. Defense right on him. Outside, Kukoc. Over Walton. Misses off the right iron. Celtics trail by 14. Kukoc with the steal. There's Baker. Six points for him. There's the pass to Kerr. Buries the jump shot. Such a nice compact repeatable motion there Curry is a true floor spacer offensively and so it's Boston with it passes it to Seasting here's Vincent six on the shot clock will it go a putback great positioning on the putback that is really good work there on the offensive glass. The Bulls leading by 14. Kerr kicks to Williams. Swiped it away. Here's Wedman. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And there's the bucket from Seasting. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Chicago calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Dennis Rodman, he's checked in for Williams, and then for Boston. Bird comes in for Vincent, and Dennis Johnson's subbed in for Seasting. Baker passes to Kukoc. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Now long to the right side. There's Baker. Shot clock at five. And Walton sends it back. 
And how about the anticipation and timing? You know, we talk about Walton's offense. How about the defense, though, he provides for this team? Now, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Austin shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line. Not missing their chances when they get them. So Johnson hits two of them. Hey, you know, for a guy who sat on the bench his senior year of high school and was barely noticed by college recruiters, Boy, DJ's proved a lot of people wrong. Here's Kukoc. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Kukoc has got six. Celtics trail by 12. Johnson outside. Here's McHale. It's good. He's got 10. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. 136 left to play in the third. Kerr kicks to Kukoc. Pass to Longley. There's Baker. He has six. Dishes it to Rodman. There's Baker. Rebounded by the Celtics. Walton's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Bird, the pass to McHale, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. The Celtics have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for the Bulls. And McHale drops them both. 106 left in the third. Down low. And Walton sends it back. Here's Wedman. No points in the game yet for him. That's a shot he makes with regularity, but that time the defense up to the challenge. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down to just six points and the bucket for McHale. It's starting to look like a repeat of last night, guys. He's battling really hard out there. Oh, he sure is. I mean, these past two games, his energy level has been sensational. Whether it's a putback like that or other hustle plays, he's been everywhere. Now here's Rob. Here's Jordan. And he connects with the jumper. Jordan's got 25 points. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Here's Johnson. It's all in by the Bulls. At one point, they led by 16. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Jordan at the elbow. And the dunk by Jordan. And right there, you see how quickly MJ gets into the air. Yet another one of his natural gifts. Here's Bird. The shot comes out, and so it's the Chicago Bulls holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We'll return shortly.
And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Boston. Eight point game on the court right now for the Celtics. We've got McHale. Wedman is out there with Johnson. Then there's Bird. And it's Walton in at the center, walking down the middle. McHale. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. McHale's got 12 points here in the second half. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Pass to Kerr. Back to Baker. Lock at six. McHale with some nice D. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Here's Johnson. And Walton kicks to Bird. Back to Walton. And Walton throws it down. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. There's Baker. Now the pass to Longley. Here's Jordan. That one doesn't drop. Nice D from Bird. Celtics trail by four. To the middle. Here's Walton. And Walton throws it down. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. Kerr, the pass to Baker. Outside, Rodman. Passes to Jordan. A rebound by Walton. This offense has really been clicking. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. Here's Wedman. Pass to Johnson. He kicks it to Burr. From deep three-point range. It's hauled in by Longley. Longley's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. Now, here's Bird, following the miss by Michael Jordan. Bird with it, guarded now by Dennis Rodman. Rodman against Bird, with some mark. That's tipped. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Pass to Jordan. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Outside, Rodman. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Boston trailing. And there's the pass to Walton. The feed now to McHale over Longley. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. McHale's got four this quarter. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Passes it to Jordan. Fades away. Yep, that one goes. Jordan's got 29. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. This is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Now a timeout called by Boston. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them.
Pippen's checked in for Chicago. Harper comes in for Kerr. Parrish is checked in for Boston. Ainge comes in for Wedman. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, the head coach for the Celtics talked to his team during the break. He got on his guys about allowing too many paint points. He said, hey, we've got to be scrappier. We've got to be quicker to help, quicker to collapse the lane. You guys know what to do. Now you got to give me the effort. I want to see some nasty. Kevin? Shooting two. Throw good, Bird. Bird hits them both. Now here's Jordan. To the paint. Here's Rodman. And Dennis Rodman with the slam. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Ainge. Kicks it to Bird. Johnson outside to take the lead. No good there. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Pass to Hart. From past the arc. A rebound by the Celtics. Parrish has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. There's the steal. Jordan against Ames. A shot. Another one falls for Chicago. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Dennis Johnson on the wing. He's guarded by Harper. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. And here is Johnson. Just five on the clock. Inside. Oh, awesome defense. Rodman moving his feet incredibly strong for his size and just does a great job of getting into the head of the opponent. Ainge against Jordan. He feeds it to Pippen. Back to Jordan. And the pass to Harper. Takes a three. Good D by Johnson. Celtics trail by four. Bird outside. Boston, no good that time either. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Kevin McHale. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. The first free throw is good. Free throw is good from Longley. Impeccable hook from the line since halftime. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. 
McHale kicks to Johnson. Passes it to Bird. Over Pippen. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Bird. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Outside Harper. It's deflected. It's stolen by McHale. Here's Johnson. Good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. Now just a two-point Bulls lead. And here are the Bulls now. Pass to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So it's Chicago now. Odman passes to Harper. Now here's Jordan. And the rejection by Parrish. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. This ball movement by Boston. McHale outside. He dishes it to Johnson. Just three to shoot. Knocks it loose. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Shot clock at two. Aim. And they've gone ice cold from the outside as they're trying to cut into this deficit. The three-point percentage much worse this half than it was in the first. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Now, here is Aim. Pass to Johnson. Parrish with it. Ainge dishes to Johnson. Fires from the wing. Rodman grabs the miss. Rodman's the Bulls leading by four. Jordan the pass to Longley. And it's good assisting on the play with Jordan. Jordan's got four assists now tonight. Ainge with the ball. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Jordan. And they pick up two. And it's an eight-point Bulls lead. Yeah, Jordan just glides up the court. It's kind of deceptive. Doesn't look like he's running as fast as he really is. Johnson against Harper. Parrish kicks to Johnson. Shoots over Harper. Almost, but it rolls out. And here are the Bulls now. They're on a 14-6 run. The pass to Pippen. And they double up Jordan. Out to the wing. Odman in the post. Parrish is there. Odman passes to Pippen. Rejected by McHale. Bird against Harper. Bird can't hit. The Bulls leading by eight. Here's Jordan, and the dunk by Jordan. Yeah, reading the defense, knowing exactly what's needed at each moment. That's one of Jordan's unsung talents. Johnson up top. He's guarded by Harper. Aims the pass to Perry. He kicks it to Bird. And here is Ainge, guarded by Pippen. Ainge dishes to Parrish. Parrish, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. Here's Jordan. Rebound, Boston. Parrish has got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. Here's Bird. Bird nails it. And he'll go to the line for a chance at one more. Way to create just enough separation to get that shot to go. Look, to me, that's about skill overcoming size. And how about the fearlessness of the offensive end?
Bulls leading by five. Outside Harper. To the inside. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Celtics trail by five. Now Johnson. Teardrop shot. Here's McHale. No good on that one. Good work defensively by Rodman. Pippen against Bird. Pippen, the pass to Longley. High, arcing shot, and that one, good. Jordan's got 39. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. This is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score. This team is doing a great job continuing to execute. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're down by seven. There's 47 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Michael Jordan. Man, his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. There's 47 seconds left in the game. And it will go, and the Bulls' lead is cut to just five on the basket from Bird. Has anybody ever personified excellence in all areas of play the way that Larry Bird does? But more importantly, he's got that clutch key. And they are in the driver's seat. Yes, they are. If they come away with points on this trip, Katie Barr to do it. And there it is for him. And the Bulls lead by seven. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're behind by seven. 29 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. That looks like a lack of focus. You've got to question what he was trying to accomplish there. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would seal it. No question. That would be all she wrote. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Look for Jordan. Off target from three-point range. 
And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Boston. A shot by Ainge, no good. Jordan against Parrish. Jordan, the pass to Hart. Outside Pippen. And so it's Chicago winning this one. I think, Greg, they played with a little more you know, of a relaxed demeanor tonight, knowing this was it, now or never. And their season continues because of that, Kevin. How about forcing a Game 7? This is big, and it's going to be an intense battle. I cannot wait. It'll be terrific. You're right. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.